Insane, and look at the road. I mean, look at this driveway with all these freaking potholes, and these potholes and all have been like this since I've been here. It is after eight o'clock. My wife doesn't want me to film her. We are fixing to leave the house here. We are going to where I park my truck because I've been waiting to, to do a, a final decision of whether I'm going to go back to tanking or not. So since we've decided I'm not going to go back to tanking, we're going to move parking lots since my other truck, my pickup had the catalytic converter stolen while I was on the road. From it, we're actually going to film where I parked the truck now, or where I've been parking the truck. You should show them. Yeah, we're going to show you what the lot is like, what you have to put up with, and then where I'm moving to. Where I'm moving to, it's 50 bucks more a month, but it's safe, it's secure. It has a gate with a code that you have to enter in to get into the facility. There's cameras around. There's someone there during the day. I'm not sure if they have anyone there at night anymore or if they have anyone at night now. But it's a lot safer and secure spot. It's not hilly, ruddy like the other place is where your truck is about to fall apart trying to drive into the facility so you'll see a big difference between these two facilities so when I first started in 2018 that was the first place I went pulling a tanker but after about it oh, coming close to my pickup I didn't know what I was doing let me drive well you was only like a couple inches off my let me drive you see I'm you side seat driving my drive? woman you don't side seat me She's, she's mad because I'm fussing at I'm her. not mad at all. He tries to make me out to be this mad person all the time, which is not true. But, yeah, the other place, catalytic converter was stolen, so we're moving to a new place. When I first started in 2018, it was 125 a month. Then it went to 150 a month. Now it's 175 a month. So that's 50 bucks more a month that you pay. But then again, you get what you pay for. I mean, it's gonna cost me probably 900 plus for a freaking catalytic converter for the freaking pickup. And That's they told a, no one but on the lot. Yeah, and I let them know, hey, you need no to let the other people know here to look out for suspicious activity. They let nobody know, not a soul. Didn't tell a single soul about it. So of course, I've seen a couple of people when I come in, guy said nobody let him know. Then I talked to a guy yesterday when I got in town. I saw him Bob telling them, went over to talk to him. He said he hadn't heard a word from Paul the commercial, but he talked to another driver at the same place who had his catalytic converter stolen off of his vehicle and off his truck himself. They took the chrome lug nut covers and freaking you know, center caps. But you know, the place doesn't want to warn drivers, hey, you know, you might want to be on the lookout for suspicious I hope activity. Yours is still there. Yeah, and I've got a pair of halos and everything else on there, lug nut covers and... Did you get your truck keys? No. But, I've got the app. <laughs> Leave, it just. To... Leave it to him. And my wife just asked me, well, do you have the truck keys? Uh, no. <laughs> Whoopsie! <laughs> but, I keep a key in the truck and I've got an app so I can unlock my truck through the app here, so oh, we're have to go I can always disarm disarm my truck because I've got an app GPS tracker. Nobody can steal my truck. That sucker is all hidden. Never, you'll never find that sucker. So I, I know where my truck's at at all times. I know when it's moving. So yeah, 
mm -hmm. app notifications i can unlock my doors lock my doors arm the alarm start engine remote start you, you get what you pay for y'all but your truck is your biggest investment why would you not want to protect it which is why i'm spending 50 bucks a month and i've already prepaid for three months at this place here like they just redebited my freaking um credit card for three more months but the other place spots go quick redebited <laughs> yeah. whatever i love you but she's laughing at my lingo yeah. but anyway you get my drift when the spots come available they call i happen to call the guy and he's like we don't have anything open right now but this is the first of first of the month was july first somebody's bound to cancel and move because we have companies that actually rent by the month and then sometimes they, right. they yeah they come in and well we're relocating so he happened to call me at 4 30 yesterday afternoon he said you're not going to believe this he's like one just come available somebody just decided to, to move out that they were moving to another location like as short as if you want it he's like I'm gonna send you a copy of the contract get it back to me as soon as you can <laughs> he's, like, he's like I'll hold it for you first because I was a previous customer of theirs so I get first dibs on the spot because I was a previous customer of his and he's like yeah he's like I remember you because they had to kick all of the tankers out of, out of the facility somebody decided to change the oil at the facility so he had to clean all that up and they changed it and let it run all over the ground in his parking spot because you have dedicated parking spots which was dumb so of course he got kicked out but he had to dig the whole freaking parking spot out and then replace it um so the insurance like he filed on his insurance like um this is a hazmat cleaned up because you have a retention pond on your property so then they're like, okay, now you need to kick all tankers out because if a tanker has a spill and you've got a retention pond, now we've got some issues. So he had to kick all of his tankers, which is why I went to this place up here, which you will see, and you will understand why I'm leaving, y'all. So we'll be right back with some video on that. All right, y'all, this is where I parked the truck at. See, like if any of you ever noticed me. my dash cam, you got all this traffic, you got a light right here that cars back up, like you can see right here. This is where we gotta turn to this little road right here to get in to where we park the truck at. So this is absolutely I hate the truck in here. insane. And look at the road. I mean, look at this driveway with all these freaking potholes. And these potholes and all have been like this since I've been here. This will be the last time here. So this is pretty sad. And all these potholes that you have to go around and fight to get around. It's pretty ridiculous. But you see, it's wide open. Anybody can get in here. You've got ruts, potholes galore that you have to dodge. Parking lot is so uneven. I mean, you can't even really get the grass of how bad these potholes are and how bad this place is to park. But this will be my last time parking at this place because as you can see, there's no lines or anything given definition. So you got a truck here, you got a truck there. I came here one time, this truck here was angled like this. So his nose was over more in my spot. This truck here was angled this way, so his nose was more towards in my spot. So I couldn't even back into my spot because there's no definition, no line. So if you don't have a truck beside you showing that you're lined up straight, then it's going to make it harder if everybody comes in and then they can't get in their spot. So we we're fixing to move this over to the next place with a lot better section, a lot better parking. Security gate coming in, and we will show you this in just a few minutes. Everybody, we are pulling out of our parking spot, and luckily, if you time it just right here at nighttime, it's 8 47 at night. Luckily, you know, here at East Coast at this time, it's not too bad. We're trying to get out of here. There's so much traffic that either comes from one way or the other because this is a major cut through. 
If it's clear to the right of me, then it's not clear to the daggone left of me. If it's clear to the left of me, cars are coming from the daggone right. I mean, it's so flipping hard to get out of this location right here, which is another reason why I want to move and I can't stand this place. But every time you think you got it clear, somebody comes from around this other daggone side and you can't go. I mean, Look at all these cars just keep on coming. They just keep on coming, keep on coming. They just not stopping. And I know the light to the right of me is fixing to change to allow that traffic to come. So yeah, this is absolutely a ridiculous place to get out of. And then if you time it wrong, well then the traffic's built back up so far here that you can't pull out because they're backed up to the curve there. So it's absolutely ridiculous. It's a pain in the butt to get in and out of this location. This other one is only about two miles down the road. But, so you got a buttload of red lights you got to get through. But overall, it's easier to get in and out of because you've got a traffic light. So, yeah, it's, it's definitely worth it to move over here to the location. I'm not going to have y'all look for all these red lights, but once we get closer to the to the red light before it, we'll come back to you. We'll be right back, y'all. All right, y'all, this is the main road here. It's four lane, four lane divided highway here. So you actually come here, which that one road, if I would have kept on going straight instead of turning this light, that actually taking me right out the Interstate 20, um, right there in Lithia Springs. And right this next light is the parking lot. And I got to look at, I went back and looked at my computer system where I parked at before because I thought the space was I sounded close. I'm actually only one parking space over from where I was before, before I had a parking space 101. This time I've got parking space 100. So I'm only one spot over, so that's pretty cool. And I know that was an easy spot to get in and out of. But you'll be able to see them as I'm coming up on the curve here. You can see the truck parking right there. So if the other place was wide open, no fence, no nothing, here it is here, you actually have a gate. Now look at the difference as you pull up in this place here as opposed to where I was just at. You've got a building, you've got cameras, you've got a porta pot right over there. Was the other place didn't even have a porta pot for you to use nothing at all. So that kind of sucks. Uh, of course, you know, you got your sign here, no truck washes, no oil changes, you know, EPA rules. So you get out here, you come in. I mean, see the security they have here as opposed to before. Then we'll enter into code. Let's see, which one's pound? Okay. Well, shoot. I think I'm entering the code. Hey, come here. Come here. I guess I'm not entering the code right. I'm back here to check with the wife because make sure I got the right code. Because I'm entering the code, but it's not doing squat. So, it's kind of be kind of bull crap if I have to try to find my way out of here. This is not good. It's not doing nothing. Well, y'all have to be back. I gotta call these guys to find out what's going on. Well, I found out why my code was not working. He said they actually have a second spot that is right. Of course, I came from right here. Well, I come back out at this red light. Instead of turning right, come to this one, they built a new spot location just to the left of this red light. So I got to come out here across this red light, 
come over here and it should be over on this side of the road. So yeah, this is a brand new facility over here that's recent. So yeah, now I got to find my spot over in this location. But as you can see, still the exact same setup more or less. They don't have the trailer here, but they've got a porta pot. You've got the little security shack here. You've got cameras here everywhere. Got to enter in the gate code. they're amazing when you enter in the right code how it opens up and you want to see where I'm at I am right there spot 100 see how they are it's rock here you've got big concrete bunkers behind so you've got things showing you know what your spots are so that's cool so hey I'll come in here See, as you can see, the rock here, you got lines painted. Since nobody's here across from me, hey, I'll just pull right on up here and back it up. Park right beside this trailer over here. thing about these you gotta watch how you're backing up because the bunkers don't go all the way back so you want to make sure you don't go slamming into a concrete barrier back there but this is where we are now So, as y'all can see, compared to where I was at before, I mean, look, you have nice, good, hard rocks. You've got freaking numbered spots. You have painted lines. So it's not a dirt, big old rut pit that you're coming into. You've got a security gate, lights, security cameras, so yeah, this is definitely the much better place to bring your truck to. So I'm definitely glad to be able to get back over here, y'all. So anyway, I'm gonna get my truck picked back up, clean up, and we're going to the house so me and my wife can watch another movie, y'all. And we hope y'all have y'all self a good, safe rest of the day. Peace out. You can't touch this. You can't touch this. Uh -uh.